Hi, uh, thank you for having me. We were late on the schedule. My name is Tyler and I'm the CEO of IPX. I'm here with my co-founder Campbell and we are building a patent futures exchange where traders can speculate on technology markets. So our mission is to increase access to intellectual property assets by using decentralized exchange protocols and in the process turn intellectual property into a digital asset that can be traded online. So the problem is that only one to two percent of the three million granted US patents generate royalties and a large chunk of that comes from patent trolls who are extracting settlements from innovative companies. 98% of patents go completely unused and the reason is because patents are locked up in paper contracts at law firms and the security settlement process is burdensome. Most importantly, there's no public market for intellectual property. So we're bringing that public market with our patent futures uh, exchange, um, and we're providing access to traders, speculators, and companies uh, who need to access these assets. And the second phase of our project, we're introducing patent royalty contracts on the blockchain. And so this is the first global exchange for IP derivatives that deliver real business value. So our use cases are trading for people to speculate on technology markets, uh, insurance for technology companies who have uh, intellectual property risk from patent trolls. This is the 33 billion that we're attacking. And patent invalidation. You can use these markets to incentivize groups of people to invalidate patents and aggregate information on a particular uh, topic. So what is a futures contract? Uh, this is one of our example futures contracts and here we are trying to invalidate a Bitcoin mining patent that's owned by the miner Bitmain. And so here I would buy shares of invalid for 78 cents. And if I'm right, the patent is invalid, I would win a dollar for each contract. So the question is, is the, valid, is the patent valid or invalid? These are binary options contracts and traditional securities. So our initial markets, we're targeting patent trolls and there's 4,000 litigations that we think we can make markets for and companies are facing massive risk just by having a patent asserted against them. So what we do is we create a market for them and incentivize the invalidation. Our exchange runs on IPX tokens, which is uh, our token, and there will be a max 1 billion IPX tokens that provide access to our exchange, allow you to make markets and pay transaction fees. We are a decentralized exchange. And why do we need the blockchain automatic security settlement? With the blockchain, we can transfer securities peer-to-peer -to, -peer to uh, one person to another without having to go through the extremely burdensome settlement process. Um, this is the team. I met Campbell in law school and also Eric Goldman, who's on our board of directors, who's my professor of internet law. And these are some of the other developers that work with us for tokens. And this is our contact information. Please check it out if you have any questions about our white paper um, or the token sale. Um, we are launching our alpha soon and we have a working demo that we would like to show you, but I think we're actually out of time. And that goes to the demo if anyone wants to see it after the presentation. So who, who put these patents in the exchange? Uh, the patents, uh, it's a pure derivative, so we don't actually have to have uh, anyone assigned intellectual property rights. Instead, we're using um, a binary option contract, and it's a synthetic, uh, it's synthetic uh, exposure so to You created that. this contract? Is yeah, we right? created the contract, yeah. So that's, I was gonna ask, is there anybody behind you backing up your contracts, uh, reinsuring, and what's the leverage on the bets that people make, uh, on the, f the futures contract, in other words? Sure, so what we're trying to do is get partnerships with companies who are facing IP risk, and we would uh, say that they should open a market, perhaps at 10 cents per share of invalid. That way, people who are researching and looking for prior art can get up to 10x on their on their money if they find invalidating art and make a correct prediction. So people basically pay 10 cents, it's fully funded, and then you just have an upside if it hits 
Right. We get liquidity we from the technology companies up front in our model. Okay.